Welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Videos. In this video, we will see how to create and use parameter set in IDQ. A parameter set is an object in the model repository that contains a set of parameters and parameter values which are used while running mappings and workflows. To use a parameter set with a workflow or mapping, add the parameter set to the deployed application along with the workflow or mapping. Now we will move to the demo part. In this demo, we will work on a sample mapping, but the same procedure can be replicated for the workflow as well. For this demo, we have created a sample mapping and in this mapping, we have defined a parameter with name add and a default value zero. To override this default value at runtime, we will create a parameter set. In this mapping, parameter is used in this expression transformation. In this expression transformation, parameter is added with other input values of the transformation. We can validate, click on OK. Now we will run the mapping to see the initial output file generated by this mapping. This target.out file is generated by the mapping and these are the initial values which are generated by the mapping. Now we will see how to create a parameter set for this mapping. Click on project name, click on new, click on parameter set, give the name to the parameter set. Click on finish. A new parameter set has been created. To associate this parameter set with a mapping and add a parameters of the mapping to this parameter set, click on add parameters button, select the object to associate, select the mapping, click on OK, click the parameters of the mapping that you want to add to this parameter set, click on OK. A parameter has been added to this parameter set. You can change the value of this parameter over here, I am giving it 10 instead of 0. Save this parameter set. Create an application in which you will add this parameter set along with the mapping you want this parameter set to associate. Click on application. Give the name to the application. Add the objects to this application. Click on OK. Click on Finish. Now deploy this application to the DIS. Click on the DIS on which you want to deploy this application. Click on Finish. An application has been deployed to the DIS. Right now, I am in InfaHome ISP bin directory and we will run this mapping along with the parameter set using InfaCMD run mapping command. The command is ran successfully. Now we will see the output of the file generated by this mapping. As we can see, the value of 10 has been added to each value in the file. Please refer these links to understand more about how to create parameter sets and run mapping through the command line. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.